giving thanks for 150 years. Amihi Fakato and Karakia opened proceedings as former and current staff celebrated the sesquicentenary of a hospital being at the Great King Street site. First Speaker, Southern District Health Board Commissioner Cathy Grant, says the hospital has come a long way since its humble beginnings. The Great King Street site, on the other hand, had been adapted for hosting an industrial exhibition in 1865 and was subsequently converted for hospital use, with 130 patients transferred to the new hospital at the end of August 1866, 150 years ago, and the hospital has remained on the site. Chief Executive Officer Carol Heatley paid thanks to the people responsible for the art on the hospital walls. I would like to acknowledge the contribution of the Arts Advisory Committee, and especially that of Barbara Brinsley, who's the person responsible for the marvellous art that we see around the hospital today. Dean of the Medical School, Professor Barry Taylor, recalls the beginning of the Otago Medical School. The, the shift to this particular site, um, well exactly 150 years, years ago tomorrow, um, was, uh, was important and followed almost exactly um, nine years later by the formation of the medical school. The first lecturer was appointed uh, nine years after the Dean Hospitals uh, came to the site. Current Mayor Dave Cull also spoke before Otago Clinical Skills Laboratory Manager Leslie Dennison shared her memories of nearly 50 years of nursing, which opened the floor for people to share their experiences. And that's been a really wonderful experience for me because the, the hospital and the medical school are symbiotic. One can't exist without the other. This medical school produced the first woman graduate and the first woman professor in this country. <coughs> so uh, there are a lot of firsts and there are many more to come. Thank and how good I feel to have been part of this place for 60 years next February. So long live it and let's keep the spirit and the health of all of us up and running. After the exchanging of memories, guests moved through to the main foyer where Cathy Grant unveiled a plaque commemorating the occasion before a large cake was surgically divided. Daryl Bazer, 39, Dunedin News.